Hi everyone, welcome to our first person tutorial. This is just the introduction to show you what you're going to be creating in this lesson. I thought this would be a good little thing to do to kind of show you what you'll be working towards. So after this introduction, we'll skip back into the actual lesson, but this is like a prelude. So we've created our enemy, our enemy looks at us, and then will follow us around the map. And once he loses sight of us, he will stop moving. So let's just wait for him to, he's going to still and he's lost sight of us so let's just and he spots us and then he's going to um, continue on his way so this is our basic AI system that we'll be covering in this um, tutorial so sit back relax and enjoy and hope you learn something alrighty everyone welcome to part three of our creator first person shooter system and in our last tutorial we finished implementing a simple weapon that also creates a light in a light room as you can see here and we can run around fire and get not much happening <laughs> so that's what we're going to do in this this tutorial we're going to create a basic ai and some sort of damage system for it all right so let's exit out of here now one little thing that i noticed when i was just quickly playing around before was when you walk into a wall see how we kind of we can see through it um, that's that's because of the character controller so what we can do a simple little fix is just to increase the radius a little bit and then this will kind of encompass the camera a little bit more so that way we won't we won't really run into the walls as much see now you can't actually look through I mean the gun still kind of pokes through but you can really you can make it a bit wider if you wanted to. The only downside to this is that the um, you can't really get up as close to the wall as you can. But I mean, it, it's a simple little fix. And if you're wondering about it, so you can't even you can't get through past the wall. So um, I'll just reduce that back back down to about 0 0.8. I think that worked that worked for me. Hopefully. Um, that roughly that does a pretty good job of stopping it but yeah that's just a quick little fix alrighty so let's create an enemy so the first thing we want to do is maybe create a new material I'm going to call this the enemy and let's make this guy red because he's obviously bad and let's create another capsule yes another capsule so let's just scale this guy up and here we go, we've got an enemy. Let's call this guy an enemy. And we're gonna drag our shader onto him and let's just give him a texture. So that way we can kind of get a relation of which way he's going to be facing. Perfect. Now, remember how we set up that game object for the player before? Oh, we're gonna say this AI system. Alrighty, so in player we want to make sure the tag is set to player. This is quite important as this will let other objects find um, find the player. So let's go enemy and I just just on that note if if you're when you select the tag make sure it's on the actual object the, the capsule object not any of these other objects don't have any of these other ones um, selected as player otherwise it the system tends to get a bit buggy then so just make sure it's, it's always on this the one player object the one that usually has the movement on it okie dokie alrighty so let's get back to the the enemy and let's go into the playmaker and we're gonna say find player and we'll have to create another variable ah, make sure it's game object and call it player object obj obj and we're going to say find game object and we're going to say find the game object with the tag player and store that as the player object when that's done finish and go to another state all right now in this state we're going to say this one is raycast player Raycast if I 
can see player. So basically what this means is I'm going to set a raycast. I'm going to say look. I'm going to say look at. Actually not even a look at. I want to make it a smooth look at which makes it a bit a bit slower. So I'll make it like about make it about 2 cuz it kind of gives them a good turning speed. And I'm going to make the target object, you guessed it, the player object. See how that saves time? You don't have to you don't have to go back to here and try and drag this in. It's all finds the tag and then pops it in there. Alrighty, so now when I put a debug and make sure the finish tolerance is at zero so he's always looking at the player as well. Alrighty, so if I press play, you'll notice that the enemy is always looking at me. See, he'll turn and he'll look at me. That's pretty cool. But now we want to make it so if I'm behind here, he won't see me. Alrighty. So now let's make raycast. Raycast forward, so in the position Z, so in this blue blue one, that's that's his forward axis. So when he, that when he's looking forward, we want to make him raycast about a hundred. And if he hits something, we're gonna say move towards player. So on the hit event, if I hit something, if I hit something, I'm going to move towards the player. And I want to store the object. I'm going to say player object. Actually, no, we don't want to, we don't want that. Actually, I'll show you player um, test object. We have to call this one because we're going to test if the player was hit. We can't just go straight towards because what if he raycasts into a wall? We actually need to say store the hit object as a test and then go game object compare. Oop. Game object compare tag. So we're going to test the player test object that we raycast hit. And we're going to make sure that it is a player. And if that's true, we're going to move towards the player. If not, we can leave that as nothing. We're going to make it work every frame. So that way it's always raycasting. So that is what we're going to do. Alrighty. So now we need to install um, the Playmaker ecosystem. You can just do a, a Google search or I'll provide the link in the um, description below. So just make sure you download that so you, you can get the, the little package that um, is included in the Playmaker as an add-on. Alrighty, so I just imported the Playmaker ecosystem. So if you followed that link, just and then you go um, right mouse click import package custom and then click on the, the your download for the ecosystem and then you'll be set. So just import that and once it's done, come up to Playmaker, add-ons, ecosystem and say use the ecosystem and we're going to type in nav, oh no it's not nav, pathfinding and once that pathfinding we want to say get this package so this is going to provide the, the pathfinding for our um, enemies to navigate their way around the map so yep we'll import that package that's all fine it will compile for a second and once that's all done we can close that back out now what we want to quickly do is come up to window and say navigation and come over to bake. Now you're going to see something really cool here, but you'll notice if I press bake now, nothing's going to happen. And you'll be like, oh, that's that's no good. Well, you have to come up to inspector, and on the ground make sure every object that you want to count as a um, navigation object, so part of the, the game world, as a static object. Alrighty, so now if we go back to navigation and click bake, my engine has calculated it and said, all of the blue points is where the enemy can move around and the parts where it's not connected is where the enemy will avoid. So you can even get on the roof if he wants to, but he can't really do that because he, he can't jump. So how are we going to make this guy navigate around? So we'll come back to our AI system. We're going to call this move towards player. 
because he has spotted the player so now he's going to move towards the player so we're going to say um, nav oh, nav oh no, no we don't want that one I think we'll have to actually find it nav mesh agent yep and we're going to set uh, which one is it set destination set agent destination as a game object so that's what we want and we're going to have to click that and that will automatically add the little pathfinding nav mesh agent to our enemy and our destination is, you guessed it again, is the player test object or you can even set it as that player object I mean, it doesn't really matter either one alrighty so let's just do a quick test um, you might as well put the smooth look at so the the enemy looks at the player as well while he's moving and let's give this a quick run I'll keep this open so you can kind of see what's happening hopefully it works so he spotted me and now he's gonna follow me around the map yeah that's pretty cool that's pretty cool where'd he go oh yeah yeah see he's smart he kind of he figured that if he goes back through there he's gonna catch me but he didn't so that is very cool so now we have a simple AI system so now we need to make it that if he loses um, side of me well, um, to go back and then start testing to, if he sees me again so we'll have to make him stop so let's just make him stop up here so let's go back down to and we'll make the agent stop if he can't see me so we'll say finished if so we'll raycast forward again in the positive Z axis and we're going to stop if that and you can pretty much just have copied this stuff over to this one and copy this one after and none so if the tag is false we're going to say it's finished and look how easy that is so I mean you can even make this you can make this as complicated as you want but this is just a, a simple tutorial alright so he sees me can you see me? Hello. Oh no, you can't see. Can't see me. Wait. What have we done? What have we done? Oh, I, I, we have to say we can't use that um, that agent stop one. We'll have to come down and say set agent destination, and then set that as none that should do it I think let's see there we go so now if he loses sight if he lost sight oh he's just gonna keep wandering on there we go will he keep wandering until So he's gonna he's gonna he's looking at me right now. Oh no, there he spotted me again. So he's he's checking to see if he can see me. He can't see me. He's looking at me. Oh, oh he found me again. Alright, so yeah, look at that. We have a very simple little system going. Um since this is giving us a, a red indication, let's just make a blank game object variable. I'm gonna say this empty just call it um, no position no position and then just set that as no position so it's gonna do the same thing so bang 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 you can't see me you can't see me so he's currently looking for me he's raycasting into the wall right now he spotted me and he's gonna chase me perfect so that's our simple AI system. How good is that? So in the next tutorial, this one dragged dragged on for about 13 minutes. So I might break here, and then in the next tutorial, I'm going to um, show you how to create the projectile with the damage system. That shouldn't take too long. 
um, just break it into smaller parts. So that should be good. We're, we've extended this three-part series into a multiple-part series. So um, if you've liked it, um, leave a comment. If you have any questions, also leave a comment. I'll try and get back to you. Um, and this has been Kieran from FilmStorm Studios. And I'll see you next time.